True Gamer here and I'm back with another episode. Now this is the first ever Gran Turismo and it arrived on the PS1. Comes with these super fragile jewel cases which will crack and all you have to do is breathe on it and it will crack with ease. Now this is what the front cover art looks like and that's the back. And inside it came with a ultra thick manual to fill you in on all the information you need about the title. And this by far is one of my favorite Gran Turismo disc designs. And on the reverse side of the cover art, they have an advertisement introducing the new up and coming analog stick. Imagine that, that we were still only using the D-pad at this time. Polyphony Digital and Sony Interactive Entertainment were the developers and Sony were the publishers and this was released a day before Christmas Eve in the deep cold winter year of 1997. And this is the cover art for Gran Turismo 2 and this is the back and Gran Turismo 2 had two discs and also two booklets and one was the manual and the other was a strategy driving guide to help you perfect your skills to the maximum level and this must have been packed with a lot of data because as you see two disc was required and as you see the cover art was pretty similar to Gran Turismo 1 with just a few minor adjustments now this time Polyphony Digital took full control in the developing role and Sony turned their attention to just the publishing. And, and keeping up with the tradition, it was released in December again in the freezing cold time of 1999. So this is where they upped the ante with the graphics and performance. Gran Turismo 3, A-Spec, freshly tailor-made for the PS2. Now, this is very close to being CIB. I don't think it matches the criteria because I'm missing a product manual. But I do have a monstrous instruction booklet, as you can see, along with a leaflet showing all things Gran Turismo along with a registration card. So yeah, I think the only thing I'm actually missing would be the product booklet. Okay, Polyphony Digital was the developers and it was published by Sony Interactive Entertainment. And this was exclusively on the PS2 released April 2001. Now this is one of the best cover arts and one of the top games in the series, Gran Turismo 4, an absolute game changer. And when you open the case, the disc and the manual just look exquisite and matches the white background. And of course, Polyphony Digital were the developers and Sony was the publishers and they turned their release date back to December in the year 2004. Now this took it back to the retro look because it has an element of the first ever Gran Turismo cover art with a slight twist. As you can see for yourself, the similarities are there. But as for me, Gran Turismo 5 took Force Crown because it elevated you to a whole new world with their new game hub and the UI exploration levels in the game was mind blowing. Now, I do have the manual documentations with the disc to complement the look. So they were still packing in the manuals at this time. And one thing which is rare to see is this. Back in the day, I'll say the glory days, you used to see artwork 
on the other side of the cover R, which only occurred in the PS3 generation. And if you're lucky, you might get it on the PS4, but normally it's only if you have a reversible cover R. So if it's not reversible, you normally wouldn't see it on the PS4, it would just be a blank canvas. So that's, a, that's another thing they should have never terminated. But life goes on. So a standard procedure, Polyphony Digital were the developers and it was published by Sony Interactive Entertainment and it was released in November 2010. Then came along Gran Turismo 6, which I still haven't played yet. So it's 100% going on my bucket list. So a nice subtle cover art and we were still getting the instruction booklet on the platform. And there's what the disc looks like. Although I have to say these instruction manuals at this time were getting slimmer by the second. And also, not only artwork on the outside, we got treated to some bonus images on the inside because they put some artwork on the flip side of the cover art again. So it's something to look at for when your disc is in your PS3 system. And as always, Polyphony Digital were the developers and Sony Interactive Entertainment were the Grandmaster Publishers and it was released in December 2013. Gran Turismo 7 and I had to get the 25th anniversary edition which came with this fancy looking sleeve and also a glamorous still book which is plastered with supercars on the front and also the back and inside we do have some more decorations if I can show you okay, this piece of paper out of there there you have it some wonderful illustrations inside of the still book and unfortunately instruction booklets was not part of Sony's agenda and you are now have to be connected to the internet to play the game which is very annoying but I guess we just have to move with the times on that one okay it was released in March 2022 and Polyphony Digital were the developers and Sony Interactive Entertainment was the publishers and I will say this I can't wait to experience Gran Turismo 7 in VR with the new PSVR 2 which is right round the corner and I have mine in transit. But these are all the Gran Turismo games in the main series so far. Now I know they've done a few spin-offs. I've got a, I've got a couple of them but I know there might be more but you never know I might do a video on that in the up and coming future. Okay guys if you like the video give me a thumbs up even better, subscribe. Till next time, see ya.